start with a chain of 55 then first round we are going to do double crochets we'll skip the first three chains they'll form our first double crochet then do first, uh, second double crochet on the fourth chain like that thereafter you're going to do double crochets all through to the end at the end you should have 53 double crochets So you're going to do up to the end. I'm at the end of my first round and I have 53 double crochets. I'll turn around uh, with three chains. That is our first double crochet of the second round. Then we are going to divide our back into three parts. The first part will have a series of double crochets, front post and normal. Then the middle part will have cables. Then the other uh, part will have a series of double crochets that are front post and others normal, just like this other part, this first part. So into your second stitch, we're going to have a normal double crochet. Then into the third, we're going to have a front post double crochet. Front post means you grab the yarn from underneath the neck of that stitch i hope you can see well so we don't um, we don't uh, in, uh, put the hook above like that what we do we go under the stitch so that is the front post so we'll have two front posts then two normal double crochets then two front post double crochets then two normal double crochets this is a pattern we are going to repeat on the other end then uh, for cables uh, we will start with two back post double crochets we're going to make three cables for the kid two back post then we are going to have three front post double crochets one two and three then we are going to have a normal double crochet, just one. Then three more front post double crochets. So those are two. Then three. Then we are going to have two back post double crochets two back post so this is the second then that is this is going to form our first cable so we want to make our second cable i said we have three cables so this is going to form our first cable our second cable will just be exactly like this so we'll start with two other back post double crochets so if you count now there are four two from the the previous cable two for the next cable then uh, we will have two three front post double crochets then a normal double crochet then three front post double crochets and lastly two back post double crochets 
second cable is done moving to the third and last one start with two back posts double crochets then three front posts double crochets then a normal double crochet then two uh, not two three double crochets but front post so that is the end of course we need to add two back post double crochet so we have our four our our three cables then we'll replicate what we did uh, on this side on this other side so we'll have two normal double crochets then two front post double crochets two other normal double crochets two front post and lastly two normal double crochets so the last chain the last stitch you use the top of the three chains you had made earlier so here we are going to round three three chains then turn your arc around then what was front post will now become back post as you can see what was back post will become front post then what was normal will remain normal so two normal two back post they were front post in round two so in this round they are back post then two normal then two back post two back post then two normal then two front they were back posts initially then three back post then a normal double crochet followed by three back post double crochets so we are going to repeat that to the end these were front these were back so now they are front then back normal back front so meet at the end chain of three turn your work around so we have reached the most crucial part in the cable stitch that's when we are going to make the crosses we're going to cross these parts here i'll repeat what we did in round two so this is round four to front post then to normal if it were a larger sweater remember you do this five times we are only doing it two times for the for the kid and then back post double crochets two of them so you can see then here crossing we introduce the treble crochets you're going for the other half of this cable so you start with the first of the three then for treble pull the hook pull the yarn through the first two loops then pull the yarn through the second two loops 
and we are done the next one same way they are still from so you can see what i'm doing so this is the last one pull through the first two loops pull through the next two loops then finish off so so i want you to locate uh, this middle stitch here it is a normal so we'll work it normally as though these three are not there so we'll still work it normally as a normal double crochet assuming that these three were not there then we'll work on the other three that we left behind but not from front but from the back from the inside so and they still have to be front post and that's why we have to take them this way so you can see my thumb is helping me to locate uh, the first uh, front post treble crochet so that's one then this is two then this is three so i've worked the three then uh four back post double crochets i'm going to use the next two uh, cables to help you grasp this treble front post crochet as well so here again we are a set of two sets of three front post double crochets in between there's a there's a normal double crochet so we'll skip the first set of the front post and start with the with the with the second then it's they are still uh, we are still working on them as front posts so grab the yarn pull through the first two loops next two loops working on this first side or first set is a bit easier then locate this middle uh, this middle um, normal double crochet you do it as though these two are not there if you can't see it properly then you can fold the three like that Here it is then pull through so we are on this second set here we'll grab our yarn like that then using the thumb and i want to figure out where to insert my hook to be at the back like that you can see then grab the end. same procedure use the thumb locate the next stitch front post still you can fold like that I think I'll do it slowly so that you can get it well last time so here we are front post treble crochet stitch it's worked like that so you can see the crosses are beginning to form then four back posts this is a pattern we are going to repeat again and again to the end here we are again uh, these ones this first three front post uh, treble crochets are not so difficult to work on i know a problem will arise here 
you can rewind the work so that you can grasp well so here we are see i can see it clearly the normal double crochet then the first i'm using my thumb to separate it from the rest of the front posts so see the way i'm pushing this away so that i can work on this treble stitch properly so here we are this is the last one ensure that there are three at the end of it all one two the easier part of the coat so just repeat the pattern then we are going to turn our work around three chains turn around we are going to repeat what we did in round three. Everything that was front post will now turn to back post. Everything that was back post will become front post. Normal will remain normal double crochets. So maybe you can work that out on your own. Uh, then we meet at the end. Although I would really wish to help you through this first cable it's no it's not difficult so these treble uh, stitches were front post so we're going to have them back post now remember they should be three look at how i'm separating i've already done the first i'm on the second then the third you if you're not careful you'll forget this third one then all it's here you can see it the normal double crochet then we are meaning with the three double crochets back post then these were back post on the front at the back they are front post so finish off then we meet at the end I have finished my round and I'm turning around. I've already done my first three chains. Then the next stitch. I'm going to replicate what we've been doing all through this side. Well, the sides of the back are going to remain. So we are back at the cable. This time round, we are not going to do any crossing. We can't cross when we are on the back. We'll only cross when we are in front. And in front, you will have to alternate so that to allow your crosses to be long enough to accommodate the excess. So, since we're not going to cross, we will simply continue, maintain three front posts, three front posts, double crochets, then normal. This is another easy, easy uh, round. Another set of three front posts, then four back posts double crochets then three
front post then a normal double crochet three front post I'm at the end I'm turning my work around three chains then in the next stitch a double crochet a normal one then what was back post goes to becomes front post what was front post becomes back post basically on the back so I'll do it a bit slower Let's see So already we found two crosses, two rounds of crosses. So at the end, turn your work round. We are working on the inside. You know what to do. What was front becomes back. What was normal remains normal. What was back becomes front. So, so far we have two crosses you can count. We're going to repeat that pattern until we have eight crosses. I'm back. I've already made my eight crosses. The next round, in the next round, I was going to make the ninth cross. The first, instead of beginning with chain of three, like what we've been doing earlier, we're going to begin with a chain of one. Then, in the first, we are not going to skip this first uh, stitch like we were skipping when we were making a chain of three. We are going to go into the stitch with a single crochet. Then in the next normal uh, stitch, double crochet stitch, we are going to go in with another single crochet. Then we are going to... In this front post, two front post, we're going to do a front post, but in the first one, we'll do a half double crochet. Half double crochet. Then in the next, we're going to resume our normal double crochets, but it will be front post to maintain the pattern. Then we're going to do two, half uh, two double crochets, normal double crochets, then two front posts. We've just resumed uh, what we were doing. So you are still going to cross that ninth uh, cable. So we are doing back. Then back. Then we are going to cross. So let me meet you at the end so that we repeat this pattern together. So I'm almost at the end. So here we still are doing the normal double crochets. 
Now I'm on the two front posts. In one of in one of them, the most immediate one here, we're going to do the normal double crochet front post. Then in the next, we'll do a front post but a half double crochet. Then we'll finish off with two single crochets. So thereafter, chain of one, turn your work around. So we are going to skip to slip stitch into this first. Slip stitch into this first. Like that. Then slip stitch into the second stitch. Slip stitch into the third stitch. Then in the next stitch we are going to do a single crochet. The next one we are also going to do, no we are going to do a half double crochet. Then in the last one, before the other front post, we are going to do a normal double crochet. Thereafter everything again goes back to normal. What was back post becomes front post. What was normal remains normal. What was front post becomes back post. So let's meet again at the end. Everything else in the middle just resumes normally. I'm back at the end of this other side. We'll still have after the front post that are back post on the other side. We are going to still have our normal two our, our normal double crochet in the first. Then in the next we are going to have again a normal double crochet then back post double crochet two of them then <coughs> we'll have a normal single crochet double crochet i mean then on this other one we're going to have a half double so that to balance on this other, with this other side one of these the, the this first one was half double this one was a double crochet so we'll finish off with half double and turn around so we are leaving this space for the armpit so turn around with turn around with a, a, a chain of one then uh, slip stitch into the next the one the one that was still normal double crochet then chain of three so from here henceforth we are going to stop our work here so that is one to everything else is resuming we are not yet going to cross because we just crossed in the other in the other round when we were working on the front So let's meet at the end. So I'm coming to the end. So this round. Remember, we are just about to make a turn to leave the to leave room for the armpit. So this is going to be our armpit. So we are turning from this. On, we are making a turn after this last double crochet. Even on this side, see we've left one double crochet. So turn around. Everything that was front post, back post. Everything that was back post, front post. Normal remains normal.
so I'm back. I've finished. I've added a couple of crosses. So I want to make sure how many they are. Look at the end. There's one single, one double crochet. Then the the front post. We have done away with this one uh, set of front posts. This is gonna be our armpit. Same on this other side. There's the front post and one single, a uh, one double crochet, where we are going to attach the sleeves. So maybe from a higher view, I want to see. I want you to see how your work should look like. 